What's up, Digidestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today, guess what time it is? It's a new year, so we're going to talk about a new format, BT16 for Japanese Tuesday. So we're going to talk about a bunch of decks. We're going to actually look at what's topping. It's still early on. No real big competitive events at the JP level. I mean, like, even in the Asia level, too. Just not enough data for this to lead up to it. So... Let's get into the video and talk about it. So guys, have you ever heard of the term green with envy? Well, apparently this is green set, finally. After getting support with Rapid, you now have three of the top decks a green theme style. So you also do have Yellow Vaccine sticking up with SOC, then followed by Digipolis, Red, Black, Red, Greymon, Bialzamon, you know, you have Blue Armor Rush, so on and so forth. Things you want to just keep a look at is just green is still is just the big dog at the moment. That could be a couple things right now, especially with JP. When they know decks are on the death list, they stop playing them. To be honest with you, they move on pretty quickly. They, they, they just don't want to waste their time in formats where, you know, the deck could still do something for a little bit, which... They're just going to wait for the restriction and then tinker with the deck if they want to play it. That's kind of their mentality. So, like, that's why you're not seeing Apocly, Mon, or Anubis right now in the lineup. Because this is... Or Apocalymon. 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 Ah, yeah. One of them in the lineup. And there is only one for this one. So, but you don't see Anubis right now. That's big things right there to take away that decks kind of fall off once a new set kind of comes in. And you kind of can see that we're at a total of 67 decks right now, which isn't bad. Just to have for our first like week and a half of having this, the format. So really solid here, you know. Like I said, green is top dog right now. And the big, big boys kind of just disappear because of the restriction. And that's just how that kind of goes. Uh, you know, people are still going to play their, you know, Garumon engine and stuff like that. But we'll take a look at blue, purple Garumon later, and then we'll decide on, we'll take it a later on if it does well once the restriction's in place. I think on the 5th is when they finally hit it. So probably be like week three, we really look at that deck and see what's happening with those kind of restricted decks. So, for right now, we're just going to take a look at some decks right now. So, first off, let's talk about the Imperial Jewel Craze. So, Imperial Jamon has had some tops right now. There's kind of, like, two ways to build it right now. One way is this kind of way. They are using Wormon as the basis, and it's not bad. I mean, I'm not surprised this deck is doing well. Right now, there's not a lot of source stripping. I'm going to be honest with you. Just remember, Partition needs both pieces in the the source to spit out it's not a do as you must it's a all or nothing so if one piece is missing you're not going to be able to spit out another piece you're not going to be able to do the partition so just realize that you know partition imperial german this is where it gets good you know this is what you want to see but what i'm noticing is the power behind davis and ken right now is these kind of dual tamers are very powerful because start of your main phase you may play one Bmon or warm mon from your hand without paying its cost at the at the next time your opponent turns end return that digimon to hand so you have free bodies out of this if you have two of them you instantly get a warm mon and a Vmon out for free and that's really scary because then you get free digi evolution on top of it and then your turn when one of your digimon digivolves into a blue or green digimon by suspending this tamer gain one memory if you dna digivolve trash any three digi evolution cards of your opponent's digimon so it does some source stripping which helps in the partition matchup and being able to source strip anything can lead to being some good combinations uh some lists are actually playing the promo wormon i just don't think all of them are playing them yet it's just because i don't think they have this card as accessible so on play reveal the top three cards of your deck add one green or blue card with two or more colors and one tamer with ken and its name among them to your hand return the rest of the bottom of the deck 
So basically what you're going to do is a lot of your Kens and Davises will play your War Mons for free, and they're going to be doing a lot of searching that way. So if you if it is your turn, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a level 4 card with Insectoid or free in his trace from Trash with the Digivolution cost reduced by 1. Really not bad there, especially if you get to play for free with Davis, and you're going to Jogress anyway, so the Digimon loses that bounce because it's no longer that Digimon. It's a brand new one. So that's why you kind of just use this for like even the Wormon searches. So this one's reveal the top three, add one Digimon with Imperial Digimon in its name or free in its trace, and then one with Tamer among them. So you have a good Tamer search pool with the Kens, and then you have the one Beamon that'll search for the Davis. So really solid there. And then you have Imperial Digimon Fighter Mode Ace. You know, on play when Digivolve like return one of your opponents Digimon with as many or fewer Digivolution cards than this Digimon to the bottom of the deck. Really solid, just because if they've had skip climbs, you can get rid of things easy. But end of attack, unsuspend this Digimon. If there's a Dragon Mode in his Digivolutions, return one of your opponents suspended Digimon to the bottom of the deck. Really solid card for removal. Uh, we'll have to see if it continues to be the top dog as we go forwards, but Partition is really solid. Then we have Insectoids. I figure we'll talk about Insectoids. Because Insects hasn't really had anything since Grandis. And now we are we have a new Grand Quagamon. And the Tyrant is really nasty. So, I forgot to put Tyrant in here. Oop, oop. Let me get Tyrant real quick. So, let's get Tyrant because I cannot forget the reason this deck actually functions now. Uh... Taking a little look at it, you can see a lot of insect pieces here. Using a lot from BT15, splashing with BT16, and then some of the starter deck pieces. This is a very easy deck to build, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm more afraid of this deck, actually, because Tyrant is really scary with Grand Quagamon Ace. is really nasty, so let's, let's take a look here. Tyrant Kabuterimon here is when Digivolving you may play one card with Insectoid or Larva in its traits from your hand with a play cost reduced by 8. So this means this comes in free. So on play, suspend two of your opponent's Digimon or Tamer's cards suspended with this effect. Cannot unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. Then delete one of your opponent's suspended Tamer's. Really nasty. And then your turn, once return, when this Digimon... Become suspended one of your Digimon gains security plus one for the turn. You know, it is an ace, but this is one of the more powerful aces, to be honest with you. And then you have Tyrant Kabuterimon's, you know, all turns when this Digimon is suspended is not affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon. So option is the only way to deal with this. And then end of your turn by suspending one of your other Digimon return one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to the DP of this, the DPs of the suspended Digimon suspended by this effect to the bottom of the deck so you can combo it give tyrant kabu kabu terry an extra you know rank wagamon ace effect you know give it the extra security plus and just do some crazy shenanigans there what's really awesome is you you have like lotmon in here splashed in to give like your tyrant kabu or grand kawagamon the alliance ability so you can get an extra security check out of it and a DP boost that makes it so it's just no option in this history will deal with it unless it's like a Gaia Force or, you know, any big bodies that won't, you just don't deal with it. Then you have like Izzy here, when one of your Digimon attacks by suspending this Tamer, switch the target of the attack to one of your, your suspended Digimon with Insectoids when opponent's Digimon attacks, by the way. So you can switch it into like Tyrant Kabuteri, you know, just make your opponent have a bad time. You know, they also have inheritables. When the Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon battle, gain one memory. You know, all this stuff adds up eventually. And then you have like Kabu Terrymon Ace that gives a DP boost. One of your Digimon gets plus 3000 DP until the end of opponent's turn. Then if your opponent Digimon is attacking, switch the attack target to this Digimon. So you can make him really big and then go into Grandest Quagga and just even wreck their day further. So stuff like this really does matter in some matchups. Then we do have Armor Rush. Armor Rush isn't really doing as crazy as people are saying. It's not actually the version that is what's upsetting people. This this version's okay to deal with. It's not as prevalent and scary. You know, to be honest with you, people aren't really playing this Magmon X Antibody. There's only three listings right now. Uh, lists, but 
you know, the only one played it this one at two. So if you guys want to play it, you can, but it's not as necessary or required. So this should probably start seeing a dip down soon. Uh, splashing in Davis because, you know, it's our main phase. If you have a free trait, gain one memory, activate one of the following effects. You may play one Vmon from your hand without paying its cost. And then one of your Digimon may digivolve into X Vmon in your hand without paying its cost. So it's not a bad thing, you know, but being you're really going to just be playing the Vmon for free. You know, your turns when the Digimon would digivolve into a free type. You, if you have a tamer, reduce the cost by one. So you're just going to be doing this to reduce the, you know, Magnamons to two cost evolves now, which is really solid, actually. And then when attacking, if you have, if this Digimon has two or more colors, draw a card. You know, you have this Magnamon that's really powerful. Security D Digivolve one Digimon. And at the end of the battle, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into this card without paying its cost. Free evolution. You know, it's got blocker, armor purge, and then when Digivolving for each color of one of your opponent's, opponent's Digimon has, trash that Digimon's top Digivolution card, then return one of your opponent's Digimon without Digivolution cards to their hand. Really solid there. And you have this Magna that basically says when he leaves the field, you may play one Vmon and you draw a card out of it. Then you have this Magna that's armor purge as well. When Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon and it gets plus 2,000 DP until the end of opponent's next turn for each card with armor four minutes traits in your trash. This is a Magnamon focus deck if you can take a look at it it just strictly focuses on magnamon so and then you have the big scary boss that is really scary uh this is basically a triple color boss digimon that is very hard to remove and deal with when did you all if magnamon x antibody or a card with armor form and its traits in its digivolution cards this digimon isn't affected by your opponent's digimon opponent's effects in general so that means you can't do anything to this thing. Uh, gets plus 3,000 DP until the end of opponent's turn. And then unsuspend this Digimon. All turns once per turn when a card is removed from a security stack, you may activate one of this Digimon's when Digivolving effects. So it's nasty. Uh, the fact that you get to give this thing a boost. And anytime a card is removed from the security stack, this thing activates its when Digivolving effect. Meaning this thing is almost going to always have its protection skills all live that is nasty to me and i don't know how this card made it through the r d department but apparently this thing went through the r d department but yeah this is gonna be a problem card uh then we have imperial jamon red purple i figured we talk about this because why not you know there's a 20 dollars card in the list you know shade jamon here when did you follow you may play one vmon or wormon from your trash suspended without paying its cost but you're just trying to triggering on plays and stuff like that you know, Vmon, when one of your other Digimon is played or Digivolved, if that Digimon is green or has free in traits, gain one memory. And of this Warmon, basically because these things can Digivolve on the multicolor scale, which is what you kind of want to have. If this is, if it's your turn, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a level four with Insectoid or free in its traits. Uh, most likely what's going to happen here is because Vmon can at least Digivolve on the egg, the Demimera, which you want to have, is just kind of... You're going to be hard playing the worm on. Uh, then you have Dino B here with Raid and Partition. When Digivolving of DNA, Digivolving may play a level 5 or lower Digimon with freeness traits from your trash without playing its cost. Then one of your Digimon gains Rush for the turn and may attack the player. So this allows you to get in some extra attacks and then do your skip climbing afterwards. So it's not bad, actually. It's pretty solid. You know, then you have the dragon mode red purple combination that basically says I'm going to make your board down to one and then we're going to answer everything else you have. You know, that is with fighter mode just being you may return one dragon mode from this Digimon situation to the bottom of the deck to prevent your opponent's security effects from activating for the turn. So it shuts down almost all everything. And then when it gets popped, it basically starts it so you can do the climb again. But you also have Davis and Ken splashed in here because, you know, when the Digimon did you when one of your Digimon by spending Tamer gain a memory, if your DNA did you evolving trash any three Digimon cards from your the opponent's Digimon, I think it's just in here for the just play the Vmon and Wormon. If I remember correctly, this is do as much as you can, but yeah, I don't I don't know if this thing actually suspends. So just let me know down in the comment. I think it doesn't, but that just could be me being stupid. And then Yellow Vaccine. This is going to be a problem deck, and I can already tell by just looking at it. So first off, we're going to use Ukumon. 
The new Ukumon basically says when one of your other Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon or Tamer among them, return the rest to the bottom of the deck. You may hatch in your breeding area again. So Ukumon's just kind of that new card that's just going to be a little bit of annoyance. But you also have Patamon that's going to grab your armor forms out for your champions, which is going to be the Rapids, and the Rapids are annoying. And then you have the Gold v Dramon as well for free evolution. This is just really, really annoying. Uh, but the deck also plays just their whole lineup is basically aces. I'm not joking when I say this could be an annoying deck to deal with. You know, this this is not... I mean, there are some non-aces in it, but... You know, you got the top ends that are going to be really annoying, especially Rapidmon X Antibody. One Digimon spent all your opponent's Digimon. Then this Digimon may attack all turns when a Rapid or X Antibody in his Digivolution Digivolves. In Digivolution cards, all your opponent's Digimon suspended get minus 4,000 DP. And this is just a blanket effect. So this is just ridiculous. It's just going to constantly do that. And then all turns when an opponent's Digimon is deleted in battle or by having its dp to zero gain to memory golden wrap up we've already talked about magamon x earlier it's just a really nutty card that you just can't get around once it's on the board it's really hard to remove then you have like angel woman that'll basically say you know once per turn when a card is removed from your security stack if you have three or fewer security recovery one and then on play when did you by trashing the top or bottom of your security stack one of your opponents digimon gets minus six thousand until the end of the opponent's turn so makes it even harder because with Rapid plus Angel Woman, you can almost drop them down to zero, and it's really ridiculous. Or you have Magnamon Ace, that basically does the on play when you and recovers you one if you're at five or fewer. And then for the turn one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000 DP for each card in your opponent's in your security stack, which is really hard to deal with as well because you get the manipulated state. And then you have like Patamon Promo, search your security stack, add one yellow or black card card with two or more colors among them to your hand if you added cards recovery one then shuffle your deck so you're going to be able to add a card with two colors so everything's two colors with yellow splash so you're going to be able to grab anything in your lineup basically up to the aces of magna angel woman and then you do have rise gray that'll basically prevent it but they're also using laplace which is actually a scary card to deal with. So let, let's take a look at Laplace. Laplace. So Laplace Demon here is really nasty, actually. This can really make you have a bad day. So until the end opponent's turn, one of your opponent's Digimon gains start a main phase. This Digimon attacked for one cost, by the way. So you can memory choke your opponent very easily if they don't have a mem setter. And then go to zero, set yourself up. And then set up an ace a counter attack because Laplace Demon is just going to make your opponent just have a bad day. So you're going to do a lot of minusing DP with this deck. And I'm going to tell you this right now. This is this deck alone probably will keep these two very expensive. So just keep that in mind. They are splashing in fighter mode ace, but we talked about that earlier in the video. But all in all, I think there's a lot of potential with this set that's going to just dive into creativity and stuff. Especially with the hits that happen with Anubis and Apocalymon. So just keep it. Or Apocalymon. So just keep that in mind. So guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.